WWE 2K24 was released on Steam, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X. Today, we're looking at WWE 2K24 on the Xbox Series X. In addition to building a foundation for upcoming wrestling games, WWE 2K24 seeks to honor the history. It accomplishes this by introducing new match types to its roster, enhancing the universe, my faction, and my GM modes, narrating stories through its two My Rise campaigns, and looking back at the best moments from WrestleMania's 40 year history. Remember, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps out the channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So, is WWE 2K24 any good? Here is our review of WWE 2K24 for the Xbox Series X. If it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Showcase mode is back for a third year, featuring 40 years of WrestleMania, but there are only 21 matches in this mode. The matches smoothly switch between live action video from previous years and in-game action, and it never really gets boring. And I was constantly excited with the way the matches combine gaming with real world video. The end product is a playable documentary on WrestleMania that made me aware of some of my historical knowledge. Now there's my rise. The women's story is more interesting of the two. Before being picked into the WWE's roster, you begin as a face that runs a play style star for an independent promotion. The concept drives home the intent ECW-like vibe, which is emphasized by the loud yet intimate crowd. The men's story is okay, but because it centers on a mid-carder who ultimately elevates to the main event status really quickly, it is less captivating and not as exciting. It actually just feels more average than anything, and I was kind of disappointed with this story. Just malicious. The roster currently holds more than 200 current and former wrestlers, which is a nice expansion, and there are more on the way with the DLC packages. 2K24 continues Visual Concepts' effort to create an in-ring action as close to the real thing as possible. It's fast, fluid, and responsive combat system that works nearly flawlessly. The reversal system is fantastic, a complete skill-based timing reversal system that creates a far more dynamic combat environment in every battle. There are now more match types, such as an ambulance match, a coffin match, and gauntlet matches, and my personal favorite, the special referee match. Some of these matches were included in older wrestling games, and it's good to have them back. My Faction is back, a card collecting like service mode designed to entice players to log in to spend real money. It feels like an afterthought to anyone outside of the mode's devoted followers, considering how much more there is to do in 2K24. My Faction's progression loops are comparable to those in other video games, such as NBA's My Team and Madden's Ultimate Team. Now this is my least favorite mode, I haven't dedicated much time to My Faction, largely because I dislike card-based microtransaction modes in yearly sports games. Now come to my creation. My creation returns and a lot of it is the same from last year plus there are more to do. All the creative wrestlers and the arenas look great and because the tools are so intensive every creation substitute has a ton of incredible stuff that a small portion of gamers have created and are making available for the greater community to enjoy. With all these features WWE 2K24 can unofficially be the best game centered on those brands by following players to play out whole separate companies like New Japan wrestling, WCW, TNA, or even AEW. And it's really amazing what people can do. My GM returns and is also receiving a massive update this year with the ability to trade wrestlers between shows, new available shows, new available GMs, revamp logistics mechanics, a revamp free agency and scouting mechanic. Superstars can earn benefits like bonus quality points for taking part in a particular match types or free class switches by increasing their individual ring levels through training and constant booking. My GM mode is now the greatest as a ever been thanks to these fine-tuned features and an intense selection of new power cards to switch things up every week. Universe mode also returns and it seems a lot more like last year's, letting you focus on a single wrestler's career 
will get an overview of the booking for an entire WWE universe. Although you can incorporate a number of new rival actions and run-ins in your feuds, such as a loser leaves town match, but you will probably find that things are mostly the same, and that's not necessarily a bad thing given how strong it was in the first place, but certain important elements from the past are still missing, such as have a wrestler cut promos, which serves as a reminder that there are still much space for improvement. The first of two doors. There's no way this is happening. They escaped. Miraculous. The level of attention to the graphics detail is outstanding, accurately portraying every sweat drop and frown. Remarkable clarity is used in the rendering of characters ranging from Stone Cold Steve Austin to the vibrant Ultimate Warrior. The wrestlers themselves have excellent or even fantastic looks. Although the problem with the long hair is back, the wrestlers with the short hair like Cody Rhodes and Ray Ripley profit from having less than Lucius Lux, while Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns who have the longest hair display the most jankiness on top of the domes, with strands frequently flapping around unrealistically sometimes. The arenas never look better also. The crowd has more reaction than ever, and there are more flash photos being taken throughout the matches. But there are still some glitches here and there. Sometimes the camera angle is spoiled by instances of pixelated visuals and strange camera angles. These glitches occur mainly when operating the in-ring camera during a bout, or while waiting for your wrestler to advance to the rumble, but not frequently enough to ruin the experience or influence any match results. Setting up an elimination here. For the most part, I really didn't have any problems with the sound. The soundtrack is okay, it's not really my type of music, and it does have almost every wrestler's theme song. And if you don't like the music, you can always turn it off like I do. The crowd noise is also great. When your wrestler is a baby face, the crowd cheers loudly for them. And when you're a bad guy, they boo you. The weakest part is the My Rise voiceover. While it's not the greatest, I think it's okay. It's a much more improvement over the past year's voice work. The commentary is a little improved over last year, but you will still hear the same lines repeated over time. Good. We're all trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title. Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? Cody Rhodes hooking up, heads up. Cut. Looks like Tony D'Angelo wants in. WWE 2K24 it's the single best wrestling game on the market today, and the best one in decades. Building on the already solid foundations of WWE 2K23, the in-ring action is smooth and rewarding. The flurry of game modes offers a little something for everybody, and the resume showcase retells some of WWE's most iconic stories in new and exciting ways. With its intense battles and stunning graphics, WWE 2K24 is a fantastic wrestling game that will keep gamers entertained for many hours. I think every game mode is a great improvement. The one that was lacking for me the most was the universe mode. I think next year they can do so much more with it like adding promos, maybe adding a few different storylines. But overall, I'm having a blast with this game. WWE 2K24 for the Xbox Series X is getting a nine out of 10. That would do it for this review. What did you think about WWE 2K24 for the Xbox Series X? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you here in the next episode. Have a great day.